Good morning. It's a wonderful spring day here in Tasmania where I live. And today I would like to talk with you about body dowsing confirmation signs. Because quite often people will start doing body dowsing and then they go, well, I don't really know what is my confirmation sign. So we're going to talk today about some of the physical signs that you will notice, well you may notice, on your body when you start doing your body dowsing. Because everyone's confirmation sign is going to be different. So you just have to practice. It's one of those things. You just practice and you will work out what it is. Ask your spirit guides, your spiritual support network and your helpers, can you please show me my confirmation sign? yes. Can you please show me my confirmation sign for no? You will get help. When you put it out there and ask, it will come to you. So that's that's one way to get help. So the other way is to do the practice. So sometimes people will notice when they use their body dowsing, their self-awareness, they need to work on their self-awareness and actually understand how their energy feels every day. I know that sounds strange, but to notice differences or changes, you have to actually understand and recognize how your energy feels every day. So I, just, I love to use examples. So I'm a prime example for body dowsing. I've used this little story before. I douse for mostly for paranormal energies as part of the work that I do as a house healer, a spirit clearer and an energy field worker is that I just naturally connect in with the lower vibrational realms that are around us all the time, all the beings that are around us all the time. So an example, just so you understand what I'm talking about is that I went to see a friend. I felt great when I got there. My head was clear, my stomach was fine. I was focused on what we were going to be doing that day. And anyway, I get there and I pull into the carport and I'm like, oh, I start to feel really sick. Now when I say I start to feel really sick, I meant mentally, my focus changed. Uh, I couldn't, I had brain fog, I couldn't think straight. It was literally like I'd just woken up and I was in that half a week, half awake state where I couldn't think. My stomach started hurting. When I got out of the car, my walking was different. Now, before I went to this person's place, I was absolutely normal, happy, fine, looking forward to a great day with this person. We still had fun together, but I had to clear the energetic beings that were there first. Now those signs that I just mentioned, the brain fog, the change in focus, the stomach aching, the wobbliness or the balance uh, changes in my body, they're some of my really strong body signs when I do my body dowsing. Some of the other things that you may notice, so I'm just going to reel off a whole list of things that you may notice when you start doing your body dowsing. So you may find that your hands start to shake or you get clumsier just for no reason. If it's not medical, it might be your body wanting to tell you something energetically. Your perception of reality can change. Like your mind is seeing something, but your hand-eye coordination is just not there. That is something I used to get when I first started body dowsing. Some of the other signs that you can get with body dowsing is I quite often will get this tingly sensation on the outside of my left leg. Now that has been my confirmation, yes, when I work with my spiritual support network, when I used to do readings, palmistry, numerology, all those sorts of things. The stronger the tingle, the more important the information was for the client. So with body dowsing, you just need to be aware of where your energy is at and how it changes when you go into a certain place. Because then you'll be able to recognize your signs. So some people, when they do body dowsing, will get an instant stomach ache. The stomach is a prime, the gut is a prime indicator of 
changes in the environment. Some people get heart flutters. Now, I was one of these and I was a bit worried about it. So I actually went to the doctor, uh, had some tests, heart's fine physically. So I knew that I didn't have any physical heart issues. So when I get the slight change in beat or it becomes slightly rapid or it flutters a little bit, that for me is a sign of certain types of paranormal energies. Now that won't be for you. This is the, I use myself as an example a lot because I use body dowsing all the time. So for me, it's changes in the mind, changes in the gut. And also, if they're the really, really low level dark energies, I will get the heart flutters. And I'm like, okay, who's here? What's going on? For me, they're work indicators. They really, really help me with my work. So some people will notice they get twitching in their body. I used to get an eyelid twitch, which is really uncomfortable when you're trying to talk to people and your eyelid is twitching. We've all had that at some stage. So that can be a sign. We've talked about the trembling hands. You might get a twitch in your leg. One of your fingers might twitch. Whatever you relate to the most, they're going to use those as your body sign. So if you're very intensely mind focused person, they will change the way that your mind functions. If you're very much, I'm just gonna go with the gut type of person, you may find that you're, you get churning or you feel like your stomach's tied in knots or you get instant indigestion and you haven't eaten anything. So these are some of the signs that you can be aware of. They're really, really helpful indicators. And when you can tune into understanding what these signs are, you get your information instantly. Now, another thing that I used to get was I would be at a job somewhere. This is a, an energy or a house clearing job. And I didn't have my pendulum with me. This is how management, this is how amazing they are when you start working with your spiritual support network, is that I would see a pendulum in my mind. So I know my clockwise circle is a yes, and I know my left to right diagonal line is a no. So in my mind, I'd be walking around this house. I'd just gone to see someone, just randomly gone to visit people, which is how I get drawn into doing work for people sometimes. It's so funny. Management guides me to go to people's homes. So I was in this lady's house and we're having a cup of tea and a chat and she's talking about some stuff that's happening in a home. And I said, look, can I just walk around your home? I'm not going to touch anything because you don't need to. You don't need to look in cupboards or do anything. You just know where the stuff is. Sorry, when I say stuff, I mean low vibrational energies. That is my, my draw card. Is that I'd walk around and I'd shut my eyes and I'd stand in a place and I would see a pendulum giving me a yes or a no, because I'd just be asking questions as I'm walking around. So that was a really handy way of management letting me know, uh, because I didn't have my dowsing tool, because I use a pendulum as well as body dowsing. I use multiple tools, which is absolutely okay. That can work for you too. So that was a really interesting way for management to show me what can work. Sometimes now, you may develop an instant cough. And it's for no reason at all. No physical reason, no drinking or eating or having anything stuck in your neck. The coughing can sometimes be a sign that your body will use for body dowsing. I've spoken to lots of people about this that don't do body dowsing, don't believe in it. And like all of a sudden I walked in this building and I just started coughing and coughing and coughing and I had to leave. And there was, uh, there was no smoke, there was nothing tangible that would cause this coughing. So coughing is another one. Sometimes management's just saying to me, sometimes people's eyes can, the focus can change. They can get blurry eyes, they can get watery eyes. Like I was saying before, your spiritual support network will show you your body dowsing confirmation signs with the part of your body that you're most connected to. So if you're very visual or you're very auditory or you talk a lot like I do, I used to get the coughing thing all the time or felt like I just got poked 
just got like this little poke in here it's like take notice that's what that's about it's about being aware of the changes in your body so i hope you've found some interesting little ideas about how to practice with your body dowsing it's all about practice you can't say that you want a particular sign because it just doesn't work that way some people want a particular thing to happen it just it's just not going to happen it doesn't work that way you have to practice get out there have a go and just be aware of how you were before you went into a certain place or when you're around certain people and then how you are afterwards because that is going to tell you what the changes are around you in the environment because our body is a natural body dowsing energy tool it just is people have been using this for thousands of years for lots of different uh, reasons but you can use this too and it's really easy it's just tuning in giving your body permission to show you the signs as well that's something management's just chimed in with that sometimes people want to do this but they're a little bit fearful a little bit afraid about what's going to happen nothing detrimental is going to happen to you you might get a slightly woozy head or get an instant stomach ache or a headache or you get a little bit wobbly on your feet if it's not medical then it can quite often be your body showing you an energetic sign of environmental changes around you so go practice have fun with this leave me a comment how does body, body dowsing work for you just let me know how you're going with it. I'd love to have a conversation. And I will see you again soon with some more interesting little videos about body dowsing and lots of other things. On my channel, there's lots of different topics. I talk about spiritual, psychic, paranormal, house healing. Whatever management deems that I need to share on a particular day is what I'm going to do. All right. Stay safe. Look after each other. And I will see you again soon.